श्री सदगुरवे नमः जय गुरु टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड द इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ ए पोएम कंपोज बाय संत शिव दयाल सिंह जी और बेटर नोन एज संत राधा स्वामी साहब ऑफ आगरा उत्तर प्रदेश इंडिया ए लिव बिटवीन 1818 टू 1878 एंड ही वाज द फर्स्ट गुरु आफ्टर हुम द राधा स्वामी सेक्ट ऑफ संत मत केम इन टू बीइंग इन फैक्ट द पोएम्स ऑफ ट्रू सेंट्स are at times cryptic and they can be truly deciphered only by true sages so translation of his poem in bharati or hindi was done by maharshi sant sevi ji paramhans and was published in the spiritual monthly shanti sandesh published from maharshi mehi ashram ko paghat भागलपुर बिहार एंड आई हैव ट्रांसलेटेड द हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द पोएम ऑफ संत राधा स्वामी जी बाय महर्षि संत सेवी परमहंस जी महाराज एंड इन दिस ही गिव्स सम वेरी प्रैक्टिकल टिप्स ऑफ एन आइडियल वे ऑफ लिविंग एंड मेडिटेशन दैट शुड बी एडॉप्टेड बाय a true spiritual a sincere spiritual seeker so the poem goes like this oh my dear one wake up come to your wits i stay i state what's in your best interest search or look for an accomplished guru i state what's in your best interest the style of the poem is like this तेरे भले की कहूँ ओके सो फॉर एवरी लाइन एंड्स इन दिस फ्रेज एंड दैट इज़ वाई यू विल कम अक्रॉस दिस पार्ट ऑफ द दिस फ्रेज एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी लाइन ऑफ द ट्रांसलेशन एज वेल फाइंड अ गुरु इमर्स्ड और एन ग्रॉस्ड इन मेडिटेशन ऑन द डिवाइन साउंड आई स्टेट वॉट्स इन योर बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट सर्व सच अ गुरु आई स्टेट वॉट्स इन योर बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट sip his food nectar water in which his feet have been washed that is have utmost devotion towards him i state what's in your best interest eat or accept the propitiatory offering given by the guru in form of his discourses or kind words of counsel because they are also his prasad or propitiatory offering i state what's in your best interest show aarti to the guru i state what's in your best interest actually aarti is a ritual which is an essential part of most of the formal worships in which we have got a dish which has a lamp in its center and with some other fruits flowers grains etc kept around it and this dish is rotated by holding it in our hands in front of an idol or statue and this process is known as aarti the sants say that the true form of aarti is that the inner sky which comes to be seen by a spiritual seeker as he practices meditation itself is the dish in which the divine radiance is that lamp lit lamp and all the stellar objects like various stars and their satellites etc their uh, all the planets these are like various fruits and flowers that have been kept in that this so that is uh, if we want to perform the real form of aarti then we must try to see and hear within by practicing meditation 
So he says, show arti to the Guru. I state what's in your best interest. That means practice the meditation as taught by Guru. Offer yourself wholeheartedly, physically as well as men mentally at his lotus feet. I state what's in your best interest. Pay heed to the Guru's teaching. Bear his words in mind. I state what's in your best interest. Propitiate Guru. The best way to make Guru happy is to obey his instructions resolutely. Propitiate Guru. I state what's in your best interest. Practice meditation daily in accordance with the rules. I state what's in your best interest. Be merciful, kind or compassionate to other beings or creatures. I state what's in your best interest. Do not cause trouble or distress to anyone. I state what's in your best interest. Do not taunt or ridicule anybody. I state what's in your best interest. Do not utter bitter or harsh words to anyone. I state what is in your best interest. Bring happiness to all. I state what's in your best interest. Drink the elixir of sound, inner sound, divine sound. I state what's in your best interest. Maintain or preserve virtuosity and forgiving disposition. I state what's in your best interest. Imbibe the virtues of contentment and prudent wisdom. I state what's in your best interest. Renounce lust and anger. I state what's in your best interest. Keep greed and infatuation at bay. I state what's in your best interest. Live a life of poverty. I state, I state what's in your best interest. Here, yeah? what is meant when one is instructed to lead a life of poverty, it means that we must live or practice conscious detachment from or non-indulgence in the riches or the sensory pleasures. That is, in the midst of all the preponderance, you have to live with reticence. You have to show disinclination to detachment to all the various objects of sensory enjoyment. Inculcate genuine love and affection for sons. I state what's in your best interest. Do not overeat. I state what's in your best interest. Here it will be in the fitness of things to tell that moderation is the key word. Success in meditation cannot be ha had either by remaining completely hungry for extended durations or by overeating. We have to strike the middle ground that is live with restraint, moderation. So that's what he means when he says do not overeat. It does not mean that don't eat at all. Do not overeat. I state what's in your best interest. Attend satsang alertly or attentively. I state what's in your best interest. Abandon weakness or desire for dignity and praise or adulation. I state what's in your best interest. Burn or destroy the indulgence or passion for worldly or sensory pleasures or enjoyments. I state what's in your best interest. Control your mind, restrain or suppress your senses. I state what's in your best interest. Forsake never detachment and devotion. I state what's in your best interest. That is always live with detachment and devotion. Focus your attention to visualize the holy form of your Guru in the inner sky. I state what's in your best interest. Chant internally or repeatedly. Recite the name of Guru. I state what's in your best interest. Sing praises or glory of Guru daily. I state what's in your best interest. 
intensify your love for guru i state what's in your best interest mind places for pilgrimage and idols are illusions i state what's in your best interest renounce the pride in the highness of your caste or creed i state what's in your best interest forsake the hope in the past i state what's in your best interest believe or have faith in the living guru i state what's in your best interest consider the lotus feet of guru as pilgrim center i state what's in your best interest treat the service to guru as the meritorious act of devotion or penance i state what's in your best interest acknowledge the counsel of guru as your true learning or wisdom i state what's in your best interest see all other education or knowledge to be sham or of no true worth i state what's in your best interest quit orthodoxy or old ways or worn out traditions i state what's in your best interest obey meticulously whatever the guru commands i state what's in your best interest do not follow the belief that true liberation can be achieved by knowledge alone that is theoretical knowledge i state what's in your best interest adopt the path of bhakti devotion or meditation i state what's in your best interest follow the path of surat shabd that is the quintessential sound i state what's in your best interest ascend your consciousness in the inner sky i state what's in your best interest soar into the realm of trikuti that is the sphere of maya brahma or the region where sun is sited internally soar into the realm of trikuti i state what's in your best interest enter into the 10th door i state what's in your best interest here it will be a pertinent and important mm. to mention that the 10th door or dasma dwar dwar as mentioned in the radha swami tradition is different from the 10th door as uh, referred to in the sayings of other sants in radha swami sect the 10th door or dasma dwar it refers to the void region shunya or the region between the trikuti where inner sun is sited and the great void or mahashunya so this must be remembered that dasma dwar dwar means door dasma means 10th so 10th door here is different that is he advises to ascend even beyond trikuti and go into the shunya or void which he refers to as the 10th door from there rise into the bhavar gufa or spiraling or whirling tunnel or cave i state what's in your best interest be saddled into the sat lok i state what's in your best interest sat lok is the region of quintessential sound or pure consciousness or unstruck melody to which we have uh, referred or discussed in some of our earlier talks make your access into the domains of alak the invisible region and agam the inaccessible region i state what's in your best interest both these regions the invisible and the inaccessible they lie beyond the realm of pure consciousness or unstruck quintessential sound that is the realm of soundlessness which belongs to the supreme lord supreme sovereign has also been subdivided into three layers alak agam and anam starting from below so these are the regions of soundlessness so he says make your access into the domains of the invisible region that is alak and the inaccessible region that is agam i state what's in your best interest behold radha swami that is the supreme being i state what's in your best interest here swami means lord or master 
and radha means the soul which is devoted and which is eager to meet its lord so the lord of the individual soul that is the supreme being is known as radha swami or true supreme being snap your ties with all the wanderings and hitches i state what's in your best interest have firm belief in guru i state what's in your best interest having firm belief in guru means that we must firmly follow the guru's commandments and believe that only this would lead us to the supreme to our supreme destination thank you very much jai guru